So, hi there everyone. Um, haven't put out a video for a little while. Um, I've been taking, making a couple videos, but they're kind of short and choppy and all over the place. So I kind of actually have to put all that together eventually. And some pretty interesting videos like me getting lost in Tokyo and getting on the wrong bus and a bunch of stuff. Um, that actually brings me to uh, Friday. Um, I had <laughs> a Japanese class with a crazy Japanese teacher. And of course, I'm like, okay, there's no way I can be late for this class. Like, I'm going to jump on the bus in time. I'm going to make sure I'm there because she's just so strict. Um, if your phone goes off in class, if it ever goes off, you have to leave the class and you can never come back. You're kicked out of the class. You got to drop it. You can never come back. Um, yeah, she just, she's like a drill sergeant in the classroom. Um, Kim Jong-il is, uh, what, what everyone, uh, compared her to. <laughs> um, and, and she's not funny like in, uh, uh what's that movie? Hero. Uh, Team America. Team America, yeah. Like, he was actually funny in that. Um, this was, this wasn't funny. This was not comical at all. Um, but anyways... So, Friday was a rough day. Um, I got on the wrong bus. I ended up kind of getting lost. Um, long story short, I did not make it to class. So, I emailed her and was like, yeah, sorry, I got on the wrong bus. I even did the email in Japanese and everything. And, uh, and I was like, maybe I should just switch over to the other class. I don't want to start off on the wrong foot with you. And her response was, um, yeah, David, I reviewed your your uh, um, entrance exam and I would recommend you to take Elements 2 Japanese. Elements 2 is like you're still barely learning like you're just you're still learning katakana and I'm, I mean I've been using katakana and hiragana for almost three years now like I've been going around to J Japan speaking Japanese perfectly perfectly fine it's like Elements 2 it, you don't even do kanji yet and I know quite a few kanji it's just so stupid that like this l short little test that I took is supposed to she's supposed to be able to measure how strong my Japanese is so whatever so um, I actually just sent an email to a teacher to take intermediate one I already bought I already bought the book so I want to take intermediate and I'm gonna take intermediate one and I'm still gonna do the Japanese book that I would be doing at McAllister um, so yeah that was a rough day Got done with classes at like 5.50, um, 6 o'clock, go to get on the bus, and uh, the bus is just completely jam-packed. It was almost an hour ride, and it's not as though it's just jam-packed and you're staying there. You're constantly having to move and move everything. I got my, my backpack with my computer in it and everything, so I got to put that on the ground because when it's on my back, it sticks out, you know, this far. Just be taking out Japanese people when I'm turning around. Um... So it's constantly having to move and move, and it's just so annoying. And at one point, I didn't realize my leg was in front of uh, the little sensor for the door. So the door wouldn't close. It's like beeping and stuff, and the bus driver starts yelling some Japanese. And I finally realized I was doing it. Just like, oh, it, bus ride just sucked. So uh, definitely going to look into getting a bicycle. It's just a straight shot to Temple. Just ride down the one sidewalk. I think they have like some beach cruisers out on the side that you can use, um, but uh, we'll see. So, uh, so then Friday night, got some gin and some coke, and uh, <laughs> I got back really late, and I I hurried up and ate something. I, I got like I drank like one drink, and everyone was like just leaving, so I had to hurry up and get with everyone. And a bunch of us went out, and uh, gosh, what did we do? We go to a restaurant. TUJ party. Yeah, we just went straight to the TUJ party. Yeah, we just went straight to uh, the TUJ party, which uh, I mean, I had low expectations. You know, at McAllister, when there's a McAllister party, it's like, oh wow, this is gonna be real cool. Um, but uh, it was, I mean, I enjoyed it. Like a lot of the kids are from the East Coast, so they've they've seen you know nice bars and hung out in nice places like that. But in Wisconsin, you go to a bar to get drunk. And that's about as far as it goes. Um, so walked in and they just had these really cool chairs set up. They had the bar, they had like a DJ, they had an actual thing. 
They had a whole band set up, and they had a couple people play, and then a band played. And it was just a great social atmosphere. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, met a couple people, made some friends, drank a little bit. And then, uh, and then after, everyone, you know, kind of dispersed and everything. And I went with um, two girls to uh, Becky and Betty. I went with them to go find the after party. And the thing is, in Japan, you either, you know, you can't hop on a train at 2 in the morning. Um, like, the last train we found went at 12.30. So, uh, you know, you got to party and and get on that last train or you have to stay out all night until five in the five in the morning like I did last night which I'll tell you about um, gosh this video is long I gotta hurry up okay so <laughs> rest of that night wasn't wasn't much we just ended up taking the train back and got lost a couple times but we made it back fortunately and then uh, Saturday I uh, took the train to uh, uh, Shibuya and went to Harajuku and Shibuya I got to see like the busiest um, street crossing in the world I took some pictures of it just crazy like all of a sudden like the lights go green for people to walk and just the whole street just fills with people you know the crosswalks are like 15 feet wide and people don't even use the crosswalks they just walk across the whole thing and huge buildings like there was like a 15 floor tower records like just huge stuff that was really cool, and I got a cell phone, Keitai Danwa, that's how you say it in Japanese. Um, much nicer than uh, than this guy, a little bit nicer. Um, the cool thing is you have, an, you have an email address for your phone, so if anyone ever wants to talk to me, um, I'll put my email address up somewhere, what is it? Uh, it's D-C-A-L-L-A-G-H at, I don't remember, T-U dot J-P or something like that. Here, one sec. Uh, at SoftBank. Uh, at SoftBank dot N-E dot J-P. So if you just send an email to that, it'll be like a text message for me, and I, actually, I can actually text you back. So... Feel free to try it. If you want to talk to me in Japan, hit me up at any random time and I can tell you the crazy thing I'm doing or whatever. Um, yeah, and then uh, and then Saturday night, last night, um, probably, the, probably the best night of my life. At least the most enjoyable. It was just, oh my god. It was just so much fun. So, uh... Drank a little bit here. Um, we went to a restaurant where you like sit down on the floor, and it was all in Japanese. And the people I was with, no one could speak Japanese except for me. And they're trying to order stuff. Whatever. We ate. Ate some really unique food. Drank some beers. Um, and then, uh, then we kind of split up. And me and Becky just went to uh, went to meet up with my buddy Greg, who's living in a different dorm. Him and a couple guys, and we we found the bar. <laughs> Fortunately, this was in Shibuya. Um, it was just a little bar. We hung out there for a little bit, drank a little bit, and then uh, we went on. We went to try and find this club that uh, Greg had heard about, Club Air. So uh, we're trying to find Club Air, and I ask, I'm asking people directions how to get there and everything. And I asked two Japanese girls. They're like Club Air. There's no way you're going to get in there. They don't let white people in. Ga Gaijin do not go to Club Air. <laughs> and so I asked, like, if there's another club or something, and said Club Asia, and they're like, you might be able to get into Club Asia. Like, maybe, maybe not. And we're just walking around, and it's, I mean, it's, it's just in the heart of the city, just tons of people. Like, just, it's so crazy just walking somewhere.